were one of the biggest foodies you know, then SABC 3's partnership with the Appetite Fest would have been the perfect place for you to be. A heavenly mix of food lovers, career chefs, and exquisite palates to go all round. You can only imagine the aromas in the air. Mm, let's check it out how it all went down. The Appetite Fest has to be one of the biggest culinary and entertainment festivals that Pretoria has ever seen. So I'm at the Times Square Arena to explore the ultimate come together of Chef Extraordinaires. Food expert, celebrity chef and author, Seba is right beside me looking ever so beautiful. But of course, what's even more celebratory is the event that's happening here today, which is of course the Appetite Fest. In your opinion, what makes it so special? You know what makes it special is the fact that it is in the centre of Pretoria and people come in masses and masses and masses. And for a change, it's not in Joburg, it's not in Cape Town, but really, really the love we have had from Pretoria has is, is been really amazing. And people obviously driving down all the way. We've got street vendors, we've got music as you can hear. We've got literally all foodies of life. Now, Siva, you are no stranger to so many South African homes. For those that haven't had the opportunity to purchase your book, what can your fans expect? You know what it is? A Siva book is, is like having what, how, it's like having a Tupperware. You know how it is. There's just those things that every family should have, and a Siva book is that. The thing I enjoyed the most today was the food, the variety of food, the people, just the general atmosphere was wonderful. It's amazing to be able to experience all our chefs that we admire and getting to taste different foods that we don't eat in our day-to-day -day lives. And this Appetite Fest is just, I think, a very awesome addition to Pretoria. I'm with Mr. Bertus Basson, who is a South African chef and restaurateur. You have been doing such an incredible job. And of course, this is the second year the Appetite Fest has seen Mzansi Shores. I mean, how are you finding the vibe and the energy in the arena? It's incredible. It's so cool to be in Pretoria and interact with people who love food. And everybody's here, just, they're just here for a good time. What is on the menu today? I see you cooking up something special. So we did a, a little raw fish dish, which was cool, but I think the star of the show was milk course. Like an old traditional South African favorite, comfort food, homey. And, and I think it's, it's we sort of forgot about these recipes that exist and we've got to cook them more often. You know, like your, your, your granny's food. Like I think we've got to cook more like that sometimes. Of course, it is the month of September. We're celebrating all things South African, it being Heritage Month. For yourself, what makes South African cuisine so special? South African food represents who we are. So as a, as a people, as a nation, we are so accepting of, of, of flavours. We should actually be more accepting of each other, sort of thing, to be honest with you. But South African food for me is like is an example. You know, we've got flavours from Europe, we've got African ingredients, we've got people from the East, and we put those things together and we've got a unique South African flavour. Uniting people with food, of course, celebrating local is liquor. Well, my biggest take-home is obviously getting the recipes, getting the secrets behind doing it all, and I'm definitely going to try out what we had tonight. It was such an awesome experience. I'm very honoured to be standing next to international cooking sensation, George Kalambaras. George, it seems like you've got some sweet treats and some tasty flavours prepared for us today. What's on the menu? First dish celebrated this sort of 80-20 diet where plant-based 80% and 20% sort of protein. Um, so we played with radishes. Um, second course we, we made pasta from scratch and did a delicious ricotta and halloumi ravioli with burnt butter. And then a dessert based on three very staple ingredients that I think every human has in their house or in their pantry, sugar, milk and bread. Um, and how you can turn that into something really special. Of course, in South Africa, it is September, which is our heritage month. But for yourself, what puts South Africa a taste above the rest? South African cuisine is South African and it's it's got its own identity, obviously from the indigenous to right through to all the migrants that have come here and, and made South Africa their home. Um, and you guys should celebrate that uh, as we are. We leave here with a spring in our step and go and tell the rest of the world how wonderful South Africa is, but more importantly, how wonderful South Africans are. There's so much food that's out there, guys. Like, so much to learn about, so much to taste. That's the thing. I'm still coming back tomorrow to, to just enjoy the rest of the whole show. So as a culinary junkie, I love meeting the Australian chefs. 
I loved um, exploring the different foods that were around, so everything for me was a highlight. I came, I ate, I conquered, but most importantly, I learned from the culinary greats that the world has to offer. From the Appetite Fest 2019, signing out.